soon, and that means warm weather, beaches, barbecues, and also a likely uptick in crime across the country. Dre Clark is joining us live with more on how police plan to tackle the seasonal, a seasonal surge in violence. Dre? Adrian, good morning. All across the nation, police officers who patrol our streets know their job is about to get a lot more demanding. With school out and more people just out in general because of the summertime, unfortunately, the number of violent exchanges increases substantially. The dog days of summer are almost here. Police departments now embracing for a shift in momentum. They call it the summer surge, a traditional spike in violent crime, making it one of the most dangerous and difficult times of the year for police officers trying to keep the peace. In New York City, the murder rate is down 13%, but violent crime is up by more than 42% compared to the same time a year ago. In a recent poll taken by Emerson College and The Hill, 84% of New York voters polled indicated they're very concerned about the level of gun violence. Nationwide, the Gun Violence Archive, which has been tracking violent gun-related deaths since 2013, says nearly 15,000 people across the country have died from gun violence so far this year. With that number expected to increase substantially between Memorial Day and Labor Day, police departments are trying to get ahead of the curve. In the nation's capital, the focal point will be public transportation, with more officers assigned to patrolling trains and buses. And in some Chicago communities, people are not solely relying on the police for protection this summer. They're hiring private armed security guards to patrol their neighborhoods, some of them off-duty police officers. The move Move is unusual, but not illegal. The overall blanket approach for police departments around the nation is to flood the streets with officers, target neighborhoods notoriously known for high crime, and give young people resources like day camps and summer jobs to help keep them off the streets. And police departments continue to ask for more help from the federal government to stop uh, the amount of illegal guns coming into their towns and cities. President Biden has asked the Justice Department to do everything it can to stop those guns from being co from coming in and preventing them from being used in violent crimes. However, the president says he needs more time and he is willing to do whatever he can to try and stop the high level of gun violence happening all across the country. Adrian. All right, thank you so much, Dre. I'm uh, still ahead. It's been a rocky week for the markets. We've thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.